Hello everyone, welcome back to our discussion on traversing and traverse computations. For this video, I'm going to start talking about traverse computations. Okay, so for any closed traverse, the first step taken by the surveyor should always be to check if the observed angles fulfill the geometric conditions of the figure. Should there be an angular error of closure, it must be corrected and not to give a series of preliminary adjusted directions. All linear distances should then be corrected since errors in measured lengths will alter the shape of the traverse. Okay, as may you may have observed in our previous videos, okay, ang ina-adjust lang natin ay mga angles. But if we are talking about traverse, more specifically in a closed traverse, kapag nag-adjust yung ating mga interior angles, mag adjust din syempre ang lengths ng mga traverse lines natin. So that is why we need to do our traverse computation by adjusting both the lengths of the traverse line and the angles or the interior angles. The interior angle should always conform to the geometric property. Okay, yung mga theories natin for geometry dapat mag-conform yung ating traverse. There are various other computations and adjustments required for a closed traverse. Some of these include determining the latitude and departures and their respective algebraic sums, calculating the total error of closure, balancing the survey, determining the adjusted position of each traverse station, computing the area, and in some instances, dividing a surveyed track into smaller parts. So we will go over these computations one by one. So for this video, I am going to talk about latitudes and departures. Before we go and compute ano, latitude and departure, let us uh, define some of the key terms we use in this method. The latitude of a line is its projection onto the reference meridian or a north-south line. Okay, I've already talked about the reference meridian in the previous video. Reference meridian uh, simply means, uh, in a more uh, sensible way of saying, this is your y-axis in your Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, this is your y, this is your vertical axis. So the latitude is basically the, the projection of the line. Okay, kung tapos nyo na ito sa, sa mechanics ninyo, your line AB has components, di ba? Kapag force ito, meron siyang component. Component dito sa x-axis at component dito sa y-axis. Dito sa traverse, if we have line AB, the component along the vertical axis is called the latitude. Okay? The component naman along the horizontal axis is called the departure. Alright? So, ang tawag lang dito sa traverse, the vertical axis is called the reference meridian and the horizontal axis is called the reference parallel. Just like what you do in mechanics, uh, the signs okay, of the component should be taken into consideration. Like for example, if line AB, uh, the projection is north, north is considered positive latitude and south is considered negative latitude. On the other hand, east is considered a positive departure and west is uh, considered a negative departure. So in our computation later on, we should be mindful of the signs of our uh, latitude and departure based from the direction. Okay, so to illustrate this one, uh, let us take a look at some of the examples. Ano? So we have here, uh, given in the tabulation below are nodes for an open traverse. Okay, so determine the latitude and departure of each course and tabulate, observe, and computed values accordingly. Okay, so line AB uh, has a distance of 550.30 meters with a bearing of north 28 degrees 20, uh, 10 
um, 10 minutes east okay so if you try to draw line ab okay line ab is in the first uh in the northeast quadrant okay so remember itong mga bearing natin itong mga bearing natin it's always coming from the vertical tama kasi this is either north or south So, itong mga angles galing palagi doon sa vertical axis natin. Okay, in your mechanics or in your statics of rigid bodies, the, the... Okay, let us try to draw, ano? For example, for line AB, it's in the northeast direction. So, the given angle is here. Okay, this is the bearing, the given angle. So, if you try to get the component of this line this is the latitude this is the departure okay so basically for the latitude we just multiply the distance of the given line multiplied by the cosine of the given bearing okay cosine we always use cosine for the latitude because it's included on our axis and the given line diba ganyan yan sa statics ninyo kapag naiipit yung angle at saka yung uh, axis naiipit yung angle ng line at ng axis natin we use the cosine otherwise we use the sine function okay so in this case we are going to use the cosine function to solve for the latitude and we solve uh, we use the sine function to solve for the depar depar departure okay So let us do that in our computation here. Okay. So let us solve for the latitudes muna. Okay. Latitudes. Okay, for line AB, uh, we have latitude of AB is equal to the given line. The given line is 550.5 30 meters and we multiply this by the cosine of the given bearing that's 28 degrees 10 minutes okay so we come up with okay now for our answer we need to be specific with our sign is it positive or negative remember line AB is north lahat ng north positive lahat ng south negative e dito naman east positive west negative okay so basically north going east so the both the latitude and departure are positive okay in this case we have positive 485.22 decimal places that's 485.13 meters Okay, we do the same for latitude BC. Latitude BC is equal to the given length of line BC. So we have 395.48 meters multiplied by the cosine of 69 degrees 35 minutes. Okay. For latitude BC, we have south. So, we have negative for the latitude BC. So, we have negative 137.96 meters. Okay. So, latitude next, latitude uh, CD. Latitude CD is 462.70 uh, meters multiplied by the cosine of 27 degrees 50 minutes okay so this is equal to negative uh, this is also south right so this is negative 409.17 meters okay so for latitude de Okay, that's, uh, I, I don't need to write this one anymore, all right? So, just compute the 631.22 
data so 631.22 meters multiplied by 50 degrees and eh, a cosine of 50 degrees so we have positive this is positive 405.74 meters okay for latitude uh, ef Okay, we go back here. So we have negative because it's south. Okay, negative 340.05 multiplied by cosine 25 degrees 5 minutes. So we have negative 307.98 meters. Okay, and then finally for the latitude of the last line, FG latitude fg is okay 275.86 this is due east ibig sabihin diretso siya to the east pag ganun siya okay so ibig sabihin wala siyang component along the vertical okay wala siyang component along the vertical meaning the latitude of fg is zero okay these are the latitude of the given traverse line next we have we are going to compute for the departure of each traverse line okay so departure for departure okay we are going to use the sign function departure we are going to use the sine function because the angle and uh, is not included anymore between the uh, axis and the given line okay so we are going to use the sine function so for departure a b that's equal to 500 550.30 sine of 28 degrees 10 minutes okay and that's 550.30 meters multiplied by sine of 28 degrees 10 minutes okay this is equal to since uh, this is all due east right? Lahat ng given natin, uh, due east. So, lahat-lahat ng sagot natin actually ay positive. Okay? So, this is positive. 259.76 meters. Okay? For departure BC, Okay, that's 395.48 multiplied by sine of 69 degrees, 35 minutes. So we have positive 370.64 meters. Okay, I don't need to write uh, nasa table naman na lahat. Okay, it's already on the table. You can just multiply this one by the sine of the given angle. Okay, so for departure... Uh, CD departure CD is 462.70 multiplied by the sine of 27 degrees 50 minutes we have positive 216.04 meters next for departure DE we have 631.22 multiplied by the sine of 50 degrees uh, we have positive 483.54 meters for departure EF uh, we have 340.05 meters multiplied by the sine of 25 degrees 5 minutes we come up with 144.16 meters and finally for the departure of uh, FG as you can see there it's due east okay so basically it's all going east okay so that's 275.86 meters okay here 
So it's due east, ibig sabihin la, o, uh, lahat ay papunta sa east, wala siyang component along the vertical axis. Okay? Lahat ng 275.86, lahat yan papuntang east. Okay? So, therefore, ito na yung mga departure ng mga lines. Okay? So, that's it for the uh, latitude and departure. And finally, we need to uh, tabulate this one as uh, stated in the problem, we have to tabulate. Okay? The result has already been tabulated for you, as you can see on the slide. So this is how we tabulate our result in latitude and departure. So if you're our given course, the distance and bearing, this is on the given table. And the latitude and departure for the latitude, we have separate columns for the positive north and the negative south. For the departure, we also have separate columns for the positive east and the negative west, okay? So that's how we compute the latitude and departure. If you, if this is not clear to you, please ask or comment on, the, on this video. Okay, I'm going to answer that one. Okay, that's it for the latitude and departure. See you in the next video.